What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally completed everything that has uh, to do with the Sevi Islands. Yeah, everything. And I mean everything, guys. And, uh, well, I started training. I started breeding Pokemon, believe it or not. And, uh, well, I'm getting ready for the Pokemon League. So in this episode right here... We're going to capture our final legendary Pokemon, and that happens to be Mewtwo. Now, yes, we went training at the same spot that I showed you guys in the Seven Island, and we managed to get most of our Pokemon up to level 70 right here. Here's the thing about this right here, guys. Back when I was a kid, when I had Pokemon Fire Red and all that stuff, and I discovered the very, the very spot that I showed you, in order to train and grind your Pokemon... Yeah, I usually like to get my starter up to like level 75, level 76, and get everybody else at level 70. I don't know, that was just like a weird, uh, weird thing about me. But, we managed to get most of them up, and, well, we got to train Smoke right here, as you guys can see. And, yeah, we did teach it Hypnosis. Now, mind you, this is the, this is the Smoke that we got in the very beginning, before we had to replace him with the Smoke we had afterwards. So, we found two tiny mushrooms, we had one with uh, one of our Pokemon that we traded, and then we had one in our PC, believe it or not, and yes, we taught this Pokemon, Hypnosis, over at Two Island. So now, it is finally time to go up against uh, Mewtwo. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, yes, I got Zapdos and, and Machamp right here. Machamp, he's gonna, be, he's gonna break boulders. Zapdos, it's going to, you know, it's gonna be my backup to, yeah paralyze this Pokemon if things get into trouble or anything like that now you can actually capture Mewtwo way before you can go into the Sevi Islands now that you're the champion you do have access to the Cerulean Cave and believe it or not that is an actual place where you can train your Pokemon too but the place that I showed you guys before that's probably the best uh, the, the best place to train your Pokemon plus you're getting money and all that crud yeah we're gonna do all that stuff and let's see where is the yes there is a repel right here okay so let's go right ahead and just get it through get it over with you guys already know how much i hate capturing legendary pokemon in fire red it's uh it's a little bit worse because well mewtwo it's one of the toughest pokemon you can actually capture so here it is the cerulean cave and well, there's a lot of things that you can actually find here. A lot of Pokemon. A lot of high-level Pokemon, like Kadabra, Ditto. Uh, I think one of the Pokemon that they probably still have is uh, Chansey here. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And, yes, this is a huge mace. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually... I'm actually going to just break some rocks, make sure that I can get to Mewtwo. On top of it all, grab some of these items here, too. Make sure to stock up on items, such as... Full restores, revives, and all that stuff, guys, because uh, <laughs> Mewtwo is going to be tough. It has Recover, it has Safeguard, it has Psychic. It is one of the most powerful Pokemon out there, so we have to be careful with this guy. Now, if you guys want to capture him with a Master Ball, by all means, go right ahead. That's if you haven't captured uh, your legendary uh, roaming Pokemon with with uh, what you call it, the with the uh, Master Ball. Although, I would suggest getting it like capturing your uh, your roaming Pokemon with the Master Ball because, yeah. Chances are these Pokemon could roar and you could be out of a Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. Grab this. Here we go with Machamp. And let's go right ahead and grab this item. Here we have a PP up. Okay, so some of these, uh, some of these items that we're finding is like... It's, for, <laughs> it's kind of foretelling and all that stuff of what we're going to be getting into. So let's go right ahead and uh, put on another repel. And this entrance area right here will lead us towards this part. Oh my god. Yeah, so as a kid, guys, um, how did I do it before I started doing walkthroughs? Um, so yeah, capturing, capturing Mewtwo was... Uh, I guess I always captured Mewtwo with a Master Ball, mainly because I never knew that there was a, a roaming Pokemon in Pokemon Leaf Fire Red and Leaf Green. It wasn't until I, you know, I got permission from from the parents to use the uh, the internet to actually figure out that yeah, there is still one legendary Pokemon that you haven't caught, and you 
kind of let it pass by every single time, guys. I mean, <laughs> this is what happens when this is what happens when you are very, very active, and your parents didn't let you play video games a lot. They made you stay at home, or they made you stay. Uh, they made you go outside and play because, well, you know, I guess that's how it was. I don't know, but that's how I figured it out, and that's how I captured Mewtwo. In fact, I remember there was one walkthrough that I did. Or not one walk, uh, not a walkthrough, but there was one time where I, you know, restarted my Pokemon Fire Red uh, game, and only had five Pokemon on the team because I wanted Mewtwo, mainly because, well, I didn't have anything to trade for a, an Alakazam or anything like that. So yeah, I kind of did it like that. Plus, I, you know, it was it was it was a lot easier for me to train my Pokemon because I had one Pokemon down in. Uh, what was it at level 70 and that's how I like to train uh, when I when I found out about the elite four how they well they, they 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 boosted up their their levels and all that stuff and they had new Pokemon I was like wow okay I need to replay this game and I need to train the Pokemon and right there and then that's where I found that's where I found the uh, the the area where you can actually train your Pokemon and get them up to level 70 real quickly so Let's go right ahead and do this first. Okay, so here we have Smoke, the very first Smoke that we had on our on our team. Okay, the reason why I put him back and did another, uh, you know, get get my got myself another Smoke was because you know I thought I was gonna be using Hypnosis at first, but turns out that I had a tiny, uh, two tiny mushrooms and all that stuff. So Smoke, very very fast. I did equip it with a Quick Claw just in case. Because, yes, uh, Mewtwo is going to be very, very fast for this all. So, let's go right ahead and do that. Obviously, I have Zapdos as a backup. And if we fail, then we fail. So, let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy right here. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. Look at this. Mewtwo, level 70 at the time... It was the strongest Pokemon of all time, and well, <laughs> look at that safeguard. It prevents, uh, yeah, it, it prevents all effects. So we're, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be attacking this Pokemon until its safeguard goes away. And the thing is that safeguard lasts about five turns. So we, 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 yeah, we got we got some stuff to to figure out. And well, he's coming out with a swift attack right here. And here we go again, Shadow Ball, and there we go! Oh my god, okay! Yeah, this is gonna be difficult because... Yeah, look, look at that. It uses Recover, so this is this is the reason why Mewtwo is one of the hardest Pokémon to actually try and capture. I've been listening to many of you guys, yes. Go and put your Pokémon to sleep. Yeah, he's a... Uh... Yeah, okay, so Mewtwo already knows that it needs its Safeguard, so there we go. We need to put the hypnosis, and yeah, this guy is not going to make it easy for you to try and capture it. So, let's see, Shadow Ball, Swift obviously won't work on Smoke because it's a ghost type, and Swift is a normal type of attack right here. And okay, so there we go. Mewtwo has been, uh, you know, has been weakened just a little bit. This guy right here, he already knows what's going to happen. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I know I, I know I'm just a uh, oh crap baskets. Yeah, I know I'm just uh, wasting turns and all that stuff, but this right here is nerve-wracking and crap. Okay, so yeah. Let's go with Zapdos right here. Zapdos can probably Okay, so Zapdos can outspeed it probably. So let's go with a Thunder Wave and there we go. Mewtwo's wasting a, a turn. So there we go, Thunder Wave attack, and right here is where we're gonna try and get this guy to. <laughs> to but this is where we need to where we need to capture this Pokemon. So, yes, Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green have made it a little more difficult to choose which Pokemon to capture with the Master Ball. Honestly, honestly, this 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 really sucks. Just because, well, you know, Mewtwo is just buffed up like nobody's business, and there we go, one, two. Oh my god, nearly got it. And here comes its dreaded psychic attack. Again, Mewtwo is the king of special attack. It is one broken Pokemon, so let's see. Let's go with Big Booty Buckus. And 
Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for this Pokemon to not recover anything. Like, let's let's hope that it forgot how to recover. So here we go, an Ultra Ball. Let's get it. Come on. Damn it. Okay, so here we go with the Psychic Attack. Oh, great. Like, how did I manage to capture this Pokemon? Seriously. Now, if we had Timer Balls, this would have been hopefully, hopefully simpler. I don't know. And right now, it's using Recover, so... Okay, so we're going to have to hit this guy again. It realized that, you know, it's uh, lo low on energy. So here we go. Aerial Ace. And yes, you cannot move. Honestly, I would rather have it asleep, but it's not going to let me... It's not going to, it's not going to let me do anything right here. So let's go right ahead and go with another Ultra Ball right here. Yes, like I said, guys, I really, really, really hate capturing Legendary Pokemon, especially Mewtwo. There we go, and Mewtwo being a you-know-what, comes with a swift attack. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with another Ultra Ball right here. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, it's teasing me. And here comes another swift attack. We cannot let Ultra, or not, not Ultra Psycho, but we cannot let Big Booty Buckets just faint like that. So let's go with the full restore. And, well, let's see what happens here. Comes a swift attack. Now, remember, Psychic, he only has 10 PP on the Psychic, and I think he used it about three times already, so... Yeah, that right there, hopefully it takes it away, and, uh, well, this guy's still not, you know... He's using Safeguard for no reason, so let's go speed it up a little. Here we go. Come on, baby. Damn it. Okay, so this Pokemon is literally, like, not living... It's like not giving me a chance right here. So here we go again. And you know what? It's telling me. I think this Pokemon's telling me to hit it one more time. So let's go with an Aerial Ace. And crap. Okay, so here we go. Round two. This is Mewtwo. And like I said before, is one of the most powerful Pokemon out there. And wow. Wow, what are the odds? This Pokemon right here is letting me put it to sleep. Okay, so in my first try, this Pokemon was being a dick and not letting me capture it. And here we go, Shadow Ball. And not that. And here we go. Let's try and uh, let's try and capture it. So yeah, in my first attempt to try and capture Mewtwo, Mewtwo was literally predicting all my moves and all that stuff. Um, it kept on using a safeguard attack, and oh my god, okay. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Come on, stay. God dang it. Okay. So, yes, Mewtwo was predicting all my moves. It, uh, yeah, it kept on using Safeguard, which prevents any kind of sleep or para paralysis moves. And, well, there it is. It is uh, literally doing that right now. So, we can't affect it. We have to waste a few turns in order to get this Pokemon to come to us. So, what we're going to do is we're going to revive... We're going to revive our good old buddy, Smoke, and hope for the best. We're wasting a few turns because, uh, remember, Safeguard only lasts about five turns right here. And, oh, not that guy. There we go, and it's failed. And, well, we're not going to use a physical attack right here because this would be bad. And, wow. Okay, so this is ridiculous. And Thunder Wave. Damn it. Thunder Wave. Okay, so we're gonna do this all over again. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go with the Max Revive. And... Let's see. I mean, I could try and capture it right now. Let's see. Yeah, it, it just goes with the Psychic Attack, it's just ridiculous. Okay, so let's go with this. Hypnosis, Hypnosis, and it is recovered. And there we go. We have lowered its special defense. And we... God dang it. We missed. God dang it. Okay, let's put it to sleep. Damn it. All right. Shadow Ball. And this Pokemon... Okay, so if we hit it one, one, one more Shadow Ball, it is going to faint. Yeah. Okay, so... There we go. Put it to sleep. And... Okay, so, so far it's going well. We're... Putting this Pokemon to sleep. 
people keep on telling me that sleep is probably the best way to capture a legendary Pokemon because it's an, it's unable to do it's unable to do anything, including freeze. But what are the odds of freezing a Pokemon, really? And well, there you go. This Pokemon is still asleep. Come on. Okay, so you know you want to be on my team. If I hit it one more time with a Dream Eater, it is definitely going to faint because it's two levels down on its defense and. Damn it, okay, and there's that swift attack. Yes, this Pokemon is... Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to speed this up a little. Come on, baby. Be on my team. Not really, but you know what I mean. And crap. Okay, so here we go. And come on. Come on, just be on our team. You know you want to be on our team. There's insurance. There's literally everything you, you could ever want. I won't be as abusive, and there we go! Throwing out the god dang peace sign, yes! Okay, so... I guess you guys were right. <laughs> I guess you guys were right, yes. Uh, putting this Pokemon to sleep would uh, actually work. So here is Mewtwo, the genetic Pokemon. It is six foot, six feet, seven whatever, inches and whatever. A Pokemon whose genetic code was repeatedly recombined for research. It turned vicious as a result. Yes. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to nickname this Pokemon. I'm going to put it in the Team 1s. And just like that, we have captured Mewtwo. That right there was a... <laughs> that right there was simple. Okay. So, I guess I'm going to take you guys' advice a little more often, except for the safeguard thing, because, yes, I do what I want. <laughs> just plain. Anywho, uh, yeah, so let's see, I'm gonna put on a repel, and I know that there's a few items that we can still, ca we could still get, but I don't think, I don't think they would, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think they would actually be beneficial to, to us since, you know, they're ultra balls. So, let's go ahead and explain what was going on off screen, okay? So, off screen, I not only... I not only trained my Pokemon, but I was also breeding Pokemon with Ditto. Um, I did capture Ditto over at the... What was it called? Over in Fuchsia City. And because I had some... I had certain Pokemon, such as, you know, Jinx. I had uh, Hitmonlee. Or no, Hitmon... I had Hitmonchan. Who else? Jigglypuff, Clefairy. I had all these Pokemon right here. And I actually bred their Pokemon to their lower tier levels. Including Pikachu, and let's see. Actually, let me go ahead and show you right here. So let's go to the national decks right here, and we're gonna be going into Johto's territory. And well, let's see. We got quite a few Pokemon from Johto, as in the baby Pokemon. So we got Pichu, the tiny Pokemon. Despite its small size, it could zap even adult humans. However, if it if it does so, it also surprises itself. We got Cleffa, the star Pokemon. When numerous meters illuminate the night sky, sightings of Cleffa strangely increase. And then we got Igglybuff. It's extremely flexible and elastic body makes it bounce continuously anytime and anywhere. And Togepi, obviously we've had this Pokemon for quite some time, but we never read it. A prover claims that happiness will come to anyone who can make a sleeping Togepi stand up, which is cool. And then there was another Pokemon right here that I did breed. And uh, I got the, well, I, I actually got their pre-evolved form, and I think that was it like the buzz. So let me see. We got Skarmory. I wanted to get Houndour, but we can't get him in here. We got, we actually got Tyrogue and evolved it into a Hitmontop. Oh, yeah. And then we evolved, uh, we got two more Eevees and evolved them into Flareon and Vaporeon. As you guys can see, Tyrogue, the Scuffle Pokemon. Even though it is small, it can't be ignored because it will slug any handy target without warning. And then we got Hitmontop, Handstand Pokemon. It launches kicks while spinning. If it spins a high speed, or at high speed, it may bore its way into the ground. Hmm. Smooch him up right here. It always uh, rocks its head slowly backwards and forward as it's trying to kiss someone. And then Elec Kid, even it, in the most vicious storm, this Pokemon plays happily if thunder rumbles in the sky. So that's pretty cool right there. So yes, guys, I was doing some work off screen, doing all that stuff. Now, some of you guys are wondering, did I get Ombreon or Espeon? 
or both Ombreon and Espeon. The thing is, in Pokemon Fire Red, you can't get that Pokemon because there are, well, there's no time. There's literally no time in, uh, in the game. You have to actually trade the Pokemon into the Ruby Sapphire Emerald version in order to get these Pokemon, which I will be doing, you know, later on when I'm continuing my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. And, well, I think we got one more battle, so... You know what? Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and use Machamp. You know what? Let's use Machamp, even though we're, we're probably going to be at a disadvantage right here. We've got one more battle in us before we go straight into the Pokemon League, so here we go. I came to Mount Moon in research of Mushroom Pokemon. Hmm. Alrighty, so here we go. Last Chrissy wants the battle, and she will come out with a pra uh, or she will be coming out with a Paris. So let's go right ahead and seismic toss these Pokemon. And well, yeah, we're not doing we're not doing so hot right here. And there we go, coming out with another Paris seismic toss, falling asleep. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah we're not doing so hot. And just like that, we win. So let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon because Machamp is literally dying. Let's go with Big Booty Butt Kiss and overkill all these Pokemon right here. This is hilarious. Okay. So let's go right ahead. And... Yes, let's go right ahead and use this Flamethrower right here. There we go. Flamethrower for the win. And there you go. Parasect has been defeated. Okay, look at that, Chrissy. I'm sorry, but yes, you had to catch them all. Okay, so that's the last trainer that we had to be beat here near Cerulean City. And, well, let's go right ahead and use one of these full restores. Give it to Machamp, and bam. Okay, so we got one more episode, guys. And I was thinking of this. Um, unfortunately... The thing that I wanted to do was bring in the majority of my Johto Pokemon into this walkthrough right here and actually use it for the final battles here going into the Elite Four. But there is one little problem. I have I am what, 20 episodes in in Pokemon Emerald, and I am nowhere near getting some of these Pokemon that, well, you know, I, I, I definitely require, like Flaffy, Houndour, and I wanna say. Not Houndour, but, you know, uh, Chikorita or some sort like that. So, I've decided that in the next episode, we're just going to be going with our regular team right here. I know that I've been hyping it up, wanting to do uh, something different for the next Pokemon League. But, I kind of figured that, you know, I'm not going to wait until I get to the very end of Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Emerald to do all this stuff. I do have plans for... I do have plans for uh, what, what's ahead, you know, after Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff. I am thinking of doing the Battle Frontier, guys. And I am thinking of using some of these Pokemon that, you know, I've, I've you know, covered right here in Pokemon uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Now, what I'm doing here is... I'm doing a little something right here that I completely forgot about. And I'm not trying to use this. But there is one item that... I do want to get right here, and it could be useful for, you know, a future date. So, I didn't even know... Wow. Seriously? Okay. I'm gonna run away. Leave me alone. Okay. So, there is an item that I completely forgot about. Should have gotten it when uh, I was here during the first, the, like, the, the two-parter episode of Six Island. And it was this. Going downstairs. Here we have a Pokeball. Never knew of this Pokeball until now. And bam, we found ourselves a Dragon Scale. Obviously, every single one of you guys know that I do have Torpedo on my team. And that would be useful for when it evolves. So what's going to happen here, guys, is when the time comes, I will be using the majority of the Pokemon that I've used in the remake the remade uh, walkthroughs, such as Pokemon Yellow, Crystal, Fire Red, uh, what was it, Emerald right here. I will be using the majority of these Pokemon to try and get a little diverse going into the Battle Frontier. When that happens, that will be hilarious. That will be fun. But until then, guys, in the next episode, it will be the final episode. We're going to go with our team right here. 
And we're going to be taking on the Elite Four one last time to close out this whole walkthrough. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as patient as possible. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on the Elite Four one last time. See you guys.